we've got a replaceable coil dryer in there, altered the pipe up slightly. Originally, um, that came out, then just went straight out. So, it's got quite long into there, and we pull it out of there, put a bit of a um, kick on it, just get it in line again. And we've got a, a ball valve there with a trailer connection, so we can um, either pump it down and then shut this, and then we only have to vacuum out this little short bit of pipe up in the dryer shell, or if, if it's got a lot of moisture in there and we can't pump it down because the, the expansion valve um, is frozen up, we can just shut this and recover the liquid out of there back into the compressor and then we can change the dryer core and then back it out from that point and uh, carry on that way. I'm just changing the oil in the compressor at the moment, we, we run it the other day. come with a um, plug um, which you have to fit and seal um, put that in there and seal back up and we've got some oil in there about three quarters full um, spilt some down there so I've got some uh, stuff that will soak that up and we'll, we'll clean that up later yeah right so we are just uh, we backed it out we checked it and everything but, um, Turn that on, it should pump down. Let's turn that off. That was the other thing we were going to do. There's, there's bits of insulation caught inside there. Let's see if we can get something to fish them out with. Right, it's just shut off. Just cooled its first lot of milk down here. Uh, put some paint round here. Well, I've brazed it to stop it getting musty. A bit of condensation in there still. That'll dry out eventually. It's had a bit of a tide mark in it. I think where they'd stored it, it, it was underwater. So, but oh, that's where the one I had to replace all the. Uh, Terminals at the bottom because they've rusted out. And I've got to change the fan speed control because that's died. Not getting there. 